Chuck has another question. Okay. okay. I'm curious about a statement that Sarah's mother makes in the novel on page 81. The truth is that every girl must have ambition knocked out of her for her own good. And I was wondering, did anybody try that with you, Sue? Well, Chuck, thank you. <laughs> no one ever really tried that with me in that sense, yes. no. Um, actually, my father used to tell me almost daily, you can do anything you want to do. I heard that on some level, and I believed him on some level. Mm -hmm. However, I think when you grow up in the 50s, when you're a little girl in the 50s and you come of age in the 60s, um, you absorb a lot of culture. And, you know, this was, I grew up in pre-feminist America. So I think I um, absorbed a lot of that idea that women couldn't do certain things, that I had to undo. Right. So in that sense, I do think voices around us and the culture and the time can knock ambition out of you sometimes. Yeah. And you know what's so amazing to me about the invention of wings is that it reminds us constantly of how repressed women were and what it meant to be a woman of that era whether, of course, if you were enslaved, you had no choice, period, because um, you, you, that's what slavery is. Being, you know, and freedom is being able to wake up and decide for yourself what you want to do. But to have, I think about all those women who had dreams and hopes, and that's why they needed smelling salts all the time, and that's why so many of them went crazy, because to repress that energy all of the time what that must have been like. Yeah, indeed. And that was um, the amazing thing for me about writing this book was being able to give Sarah her freedom to go do this.